So we get the question all the time of how do you take a prediction and cultivate it to a deal? Well, today we're going to talk and listen to Frank Klesitz, one of the best in the business, the CEO of Viral Marketing, give us what he's done and what he advises his clients to do to take likely sellers and turn them into closed deals. It's Frank Klesitz with Brad McDaniel with Likelet AI. We're going to talk about how to use video to get these homeowners to call you. Let's talk about this. So you're going to send everyone a list every month of here's all these homeowners that we think are likely to sell their home. So we got to have a way to actually approach these individuals. The first thing you got to do is just call them and say, hey, I'm a local real estate professional and I know I'm calling you out of the blue and I appreciate you taking the phone call. But the reason for my call is, you know, home prices are up X percentage points like it is in most markets and was just curious if you would be open to selling your home or you'd be open to accept an offer on it. I recommend, I, I know a little bit about outbound calling. You call twice a day for the first five days. And then maybe on the third day, you start leaving a voicemail with the same thing. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of a full court press once you get that spreadsheet of give them a call. When it comes to texting, if I'm just going to reach out to a homeowner, I'll just send them one text and it needs to be a one to one one text, not like a mass text. Mass yeah. text is illegal. It's going to get you in trouble using automated technology to mass text everybody. But just put the number in your phone or use Google Voice yeah. and just say, hey, so-and-so, uh, are you the owner of 123 Elm Street? I'm a local realtor. Would you have any interest in uh, selling the property? I wanted to reach out. And this is where video might come in. You can go so far as to say that in a video message on the phone and send it to them as a video as a text just one. And then I like sending a letter. If it's a small number, maybe like a hundred or less, or maybe even a little more than a hundred, it's just get a regular old number 10 envelope, write their address on here. And on company letterhead, just saying, would you have any interest in selling your home at 123 Elm Street? Put it in the envelope mail it out. I mean, something that personal that's hand addressed will get them to respond. So now you kind of hit them with an initial letter. The only other option now is you would just send them an email. And I think with the size of the list, you don't have to get too fancy with automation. Actually, I just wrote this today. Hey, so-and-so, would you be interested in selling 123 Elm Street? I'm with a local real estate office on 144th of Maple down the street, and there's a lot of demand for your home. Prices are up, you know, 30%. Would you be open to accepting offers on your home? I can likely get you plenty. So yeah. all you're trying to do is just try to start a little conversation, being very to the point, being very honest. You now, are you just open to the idea of maybe receiving an offer on your home or open to selling your home? Another strategy that we also can use, I would actually take all of the properties. I would load them into some type of mapping software and I would find an independent contractor and maybe pay them, you know, a thousand dollars at closing or 500 bucks to literally go knock on all the doors with a lead behind at the door. Usually probably after they work during the day, they mm -hmm. would go out at night and just using mapping software that's the most efficient, go knock on a door, knock on a door, knock on a door, knock on a door. Just basically saying, hey, you know, I work with a local real estate professional and we're just trying to get the word out and see maybe would you be open to an offer on your home? We can probably get you some. Would you want to maybe speak with the licensed agent that uh, I work with and see if they can schedule an appointment for you? That's kind of the idea is you want to use multiple media. When you're spending the money that you're spending on great data like this, you want to, you need to really go after it. And you don't really know how someone's going to respond. Now it kind of comes down to hopefully some people respond. Maybe they're likely to sell in three months or six months or nine months or whatever, right? Yeah. It's still a pretty good nurture. You know, at that point, that's when you kind of bring them into your, they, they kind of move from a habit met to a met and now you have permission to stay in touch and at that point that's where you put them on some type of ongoing kind of nurture system and what we recommend at viral when someone's in your database are basically starting a little local video blog this is one of our clients up in silicon valley they start a little video blog like this where you know they just publish you know ed educational videos you get to know brett here and who he is like who's this guy that wants to sell my home and you send that person two helpful videos a month that they're getting by email and maybe seeing on social media because there's ways to advertise to those people on social media that we can set you up with so they're seeing you online. But also one of the things you certainly do have is the actual property address, which is nice <laughs> from what you provide. One of the easiest ways to stay in touch with your database, certainly you want to reach people as much as you can online, but you're not going to reach everyone online. Online will only get you to a point. Then you have to kind of go offline for your nurture. And that's where uh, direct mail comes in. And one of the things that we do for our viral clients here is we also send out a monthly postcard. And the postcard looks something like this. It has your latest video on the front with a question that you're answering with a link to your blog and a little bit of teaser copy down here. And then on the back is really strong sales copy about why you need to call me. Here's the problem you likely have. Here's how I can solve it. Here's why you want to use me. Here's how to call me. 
uh, for a free home selling or buying phone call. And that goes out every single month to your list on top of your two educational videos. A lot of times in marketing is that we just have to, it's nice to make all these videos and all these relationships, but ultimately you just have to put an offer in front of someone like, look, do you have this problem? Here's how I solve it. Here's how I solve it everyone, everyone else. Here's my promise. Here's my guarantee. Here's how to get started. And putting a very good offer in front of someone with the problem to let's have a conversation, driving to a phone call. And then from the phone call, you drive to the appointment. So the name of the game with the data that you provide is look, send them a text, make some calls, send them letters, see if you can connect with them. Then from the people you connect with, add them to your database. I mean, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes and kind of opening your marketing mind to us. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people. Well, thank you for having my marketing mind and be able to share it and get some people results. <laughs> Anyone who watches us wants to sell homes. And I'll tell you, man, it starts with having really good data. I'm like the guy of the database, right? You got to have a good database. If I'm going to put people into my database, let's put in people that have a home that are very likely to sell one. Like peanut butter and jelly, baby. That's how it goes, yeah. right? Thank you again, man. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, love to hear how everything continues to go with the clients that we share. Awesome. Thanks, Brad.